morning, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to the inaugural session of Sampark Foundation's Inspiring India series. As you know, Sampark Foundation was founded by Mr. and Mrs. Vineet Nair uh, 10 years ago to catalyze innovation in the Indian social sector, specifically in the areas of education and livelihood uh, enhancement for the disadvantaged. Uh, in fact, the Sampark Foundation today works across six Indian states, touching the lives of uh, thousands of people, and uh, as a foundation likes to say, bringing smiles to the faces of millions of people. Uh, this year, Sampark Foundation celebrates its 10th anniversary, and it's taken another significant step with the establishment of the Sampark Policy and Advocacy Cell, or SPAC, with an investment of, uh, of about 25 crores. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. It's uh, such an honor to be here. I cannot uh, tell you. I was um, talking to Vineet about three weeks ago only, I think, and I said I was going to be in India, and he said, well, why don't we get together? I assumed that was going to be a quiet dinner. But knowing Vineet, that's not possible. So we are here to do something much more ambitious and to really have a conversation about how India becomes a $10 trillion economy. And all of you would know that that is an astounding challenge. It is a multi-dimensional challenge. I feel qualified to speak on only a few of those dimensions, but they happen to be ones that I think are incredibly important. Well, having known him for over a decade, if I had to pick just two words to describe uh, Vineet Nair, it's got to be rock star CEO. And why so do uh, some companies succeed and others don't? Why do some people succeed and others don't? Why did Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela succeed in bringing about such dramatic change in our society? If you go down the list, there are many such instances that some succeed and many fail. And he, he targeted that to his thesis of the fact that it is about innovation. I come to a different conclusion based on my experience, and I call that high performance. High performance executives, high performance organizations, spend most of their time in the zone of trying to pursue what others consider impossible. So when you choose the time you wish to spend, you have an opportunity of spending in incremental what is possible, 30% growth, 40% growth, 10% growth, adjacent market, new product, new pricing. Or you have an opportunity of completely giving all that up and trying to aim for the impossible. 